Joseph Ferdinand Cheval was born in 1936 into a poor working class family. He started work as a baker, then a farm laborer, before becoming a postman at 31 years old. Factor Cheval. He walked 30 kilometers a day to deliver the mail. He was 43 when, one day in April 1879, the postman Cheval tripped on a stone. He liked the aspects of the stone so much, he decided to build a palace entirely with stones. Every day, during his postal round, he collected stones. Then, in the evening, he returned with his wheelbarrow to retrieve the stones and bring them back to his garden. His ideas for the palace came from the natural scenery he saw around him every day on his postal round, as well as early postcards and magazines he delivered. For 33 years, every day after work, and sometimes with the help of candlelight, postman Cheval, who was thought to be bad by the village folks, built his dream palace. In 1912, at the age of 76, he terminated the construction of Palais Ideal. The palace is 26 meters long, 14 meters large, and 12 meters high. After his death, the palace was abandoned and started to degrade. It was often scoffed at, even after the support of artists such as Picasso, André Breton and Max Ernst. However, finally, in 1969, the culture minister, André Malraux, decided to integrate the Palace Ideal into the list of protected and historic monuments. He described the palace as a unique example of naive art in architecture. From 1914, he spent the next eight years building his tomb with stones. He died in 1924 at the age of 88. His work is a hymn to nature and to the mixture of different cultures. He had no training in architecture, nor artistic knowledge, however, he has left his mark. Today, he is even considered as a forerunner of Art Brute.